Today is the 1st of June, so it's time to take this thing out of its winter wraps and activate it. I have some peppers growing already, I'll show you. It's in an ebb and flow system. So first you hit the bungee cord. Get that out of there. Let's remove the manifold, which we had stored on the top, and just pull the cover back. I'm a blue tarp kind of person. It's pretty well set up already as far as the uh, operation set up. You have the manifolds for the uh, drip set up, the drip return for the pots. And I'll show you what we got going here. We have a little bit of water in there. And we do that because it gets a little windy out here during the winter. So we want to make sure that it doesn't blow over. We stored all the pots and the center support for the top inside. As you can see, there's eight pots. Grow a lot of peppers in this baby. So what we're going to do now is remove the pots. Get ready to set this support. This support goes right in the center to help support the lid. We'll remove all of these and wash them and drain the tank. These pots are pretty interesting. They're very unique the way they're designed. This part, this uh, out, outlet fits on the return manifold, the white things you saw at the top, you'll see. And it has a siphon drain to that manifold. You can see how low it reaches into the, the bottom of the pot. It works rather well. These things are really easy to clean. They're two gallon pots, so they hold, they'll hold a big plant. As mentioned, the first step is to put in the support column for the uh, lid. It's very important. You can see the notches to fit right over the rib here. Place it close to the center. There's a couple of cutaways there you can see. It doesn't have to be exact, but close is good. Then we'll put the lid on. And now we're ready for the rest of the installation. We've got the drain tubes cleaned and ready to install. As you see the uh, attachment at the end, place that in the hole and then snap it down. <laughs> it's tight, but it fits really good. So then you do the other. Same deal. And there you have it. Now you're ready for the buckets. Here's the, here's the dripper manifold. And we'll place this in this hole back here. But I want you to see this coupling here. This attaches to the pump. I'm not going to be able to show you that because there's no light in there, but that's the most difficult thing is attaching that pump through that hole. But it's not that bad. Now what I've done, now these, these come with a uh, with a stake set up. But I've drilled these little holes, teeny tiny holes, for the dripper and I'll put one in for you. Show you how it works. So as you can see on this one, you can set it about any place you want. I'm going to put it at the base of the plant or along the side, whichever. And it holds true through the whole growing cycle. So now we're going to hook up the pump. So here's the pump. Looks like about a P250. You can use a P500. This says a Type 2 utility pump. But we used this all last season and it's ready to go again. Well, there won't be much light, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in and I'm going to hook it up towards the, the opening so you can see. So we place it in the hole. We got it running all the way down straight. All the pots attached and we're ready to go. 
basically there's the pump. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's lifted up. Yeah, there you see it hanging on the inlet. It'll go right back down into the water. Now we're going to hook up an air pump to two air stones. And I'll show you what we're going to use. Then all we have left to do is just to drain this. It's actually draining right now. The water that we have in there during the winter. And then we'll be good to go. But let me show you the air pump and the discs. We're pretty much ready to go now. The buckets are all lined up in place. The uh, dripper tubes are installed slightly. And the pump is installed. All we need to do now is uh, put in the air stones and the air pump. Put the uh, growth media in and the plants. So we'll do that. We'll just take a closer look at these dripper lines and how they're, they're put in. You can slide these in and out very easily. So you can place them right exactly where you want them. We're going to use hydroton, which is clay aggregate, as a growth media. And about the best way I've found to rinse that out is just to grab a five gallon bucket from your favorite store and drill mini holes in the bottom and rinse it out and I'll show you how. Okay, let's throw a little in there. So we'll give it a quick rinse and then we'll continue on. Scoop a little bit out into the bucket, rinse a bit more, get all that dust out. Here's the peppers we've been preparing in this ebb and grow system, ebb and flow I should say. And these babies are ready to plant. So what we've, we've put enough clay aggregate in the bottom so we can place this plant in there in its container because it is a free-flowing container and the roots will go right out of it then we will cover this entire thing with hydrogen set the dripper then we're good to grow so we're getting it set up now you can see that these pots have many slits and you can the roots are can grow freely through that we'll set it up so it's going to be just below the top and it'll be totally filled with hydrogen okay here's the final plant now you notice that these have plenty of slits and they're already starting through we'll set that down there we'll fill it up and we're good to go Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the air stone in. We've opted to go to a single air stone. Put it back there. Run the tube right through there and to the pump. So here we are with the air pump and the timer for the pump, which we have switched on. The air bubbles are working. The pump's working. And we can position that wherever we want to. Everything is looking great. We're all planted. And we'll have an update in a couple of weeks, I would imagine. We'll see what happens here. It is now June the 5th, 2010. Well, here's the waterproof enclosure for the pump and the uh, and the uh, timer for the uh, submersible pump. This will have to do until I fabricate a watertight box for this. Of course, I left it like this all year last time, and it worked fine. Approximately two months later, we can see excellent results from this setup. 
The plants are very healthy and the peppers are absolutely delicious.